Okay, we are in a Brian Christian bookstore, and I was curious to step in here and to see what we had, actually. As you can see, it's got a lot of trinkets here, a lot of things they put on your wall, pictures, paintings. It's got some cards here. Graduation cards, lots of cards. Let's look over here at the commentary section. Hmm. Yeah, pretty good section, actually. Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, Bible Dictionaries, Apologetic section, some books by uh, Dinesh de Souza, What's So Great About Christianity, The Defender's Guide for Life's Toughest Questions by Ray Comfort. Um, a lot of authors I don't recognize. Ken Ham, of course. He's pretty solid. Demolishing Supposed Bible Contradictions. How do we know the Bible is true? All right. And of course, prophecy is usually a pretty big section. Uh, this is not too big right here. And theology is very scant, actually. Uh, either that or they're simply out of the books. <laughs> No books on the bottom two shelves here. Okay. Now what else we have? Bible section over here. Bible studies. Hmm. So we got Bible reference, Bible studies, apologetics, we covered that. Let's go over here and look at some music, Southern Gospel music. Rap and Raggae, hmm, and a Christian bookstore, contemporary pop, and even rock, if you can believe that. Hmm. Children's section, Gospel. Ah, contemporary hymns. That would be one I might be interested in. You can actually come over here and scan your CD and then it will say either available and you'll put these headphones on right here or it'll say CD not available. In which case you cannot listen to it. But it helps market the music. Good idea actually. Okay, anything else? Hmm. Other items here. Stickers. You see, these bookstores, Christian bookstores, can't really support themselves much anymore without selling additional things. DVDs, uh, posters, T-shirts even, as you can see right here. Scarves. <laughs> Pleated scarves. Okay. And here's some shirts that you can wear. Uh, DVD movies. Movie section. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I was interested in finding out how large some of these other sections of the... You know, here's some music releases. Never heard of most of these uh, artists here. Um, charismatic interest. That's a big section. And fiction. This is interesting. Look how large the, the fiction section is, folks. Is that revealing or not? Okay, I have two whole sections here. Remember, fiction is not truth. It might be based on truth, but it's not like nonfiction. These are made up stories, okay? And it's interesting that there's such a large market for this. I mean, look at this one, two, three, four, five shelves of fiction on both sides here, two aisles. Okay. This is, this is probably the largest section in this whole Christian bookstore. Um, social issues, here we go. Dr. Benjamin Carson. Um, hmm, it's the only name I recognize. Okay, Dr. David Jeremiah. Uh, 
And what else do we have? Psychology section. Value books. Big section of value books. I guess, uh, I don't know. What qualifies as a value book? The Confessions of St. Augustine. That's a good book. That's definitely a, a book worth buying. Devotional books. Big section there. Ah, here's a classic by Oswald Chambers. My utmost for his highest. Somewhere I saw a Morning and Evening by Charles Spurgeon. Now here's a Faith's Checkbook 365 Day Devotional by Charles Spurgeon. Now let's go to the Bible section. The Bible section. What do we have over here? MacArthur Study Bible, the ESV, English Standard Bible. Uh oh, Joyce Meyer. Um, well, looks like she's put her name on a Bible now. Uh, I don't approve of that, really. I don't think that we should put our names on Bibles and put our notes in the, in the text of Scripture. Let's keep the commentary separate. This is something that's only been done probably in the last hundred years with the Schofield Reference Bible, the Ryrie Study Bible. Here's some new international Bibles. Big section. Certainly not my favorite version. Uh, what else do we have? The New King James Version. New King James Version. Do we have any King James Versions at all? Hmm. Well, the New Living. Yeah. People are, are uh, actually turning away from the King James, which has been used since 1611 as God's Word. This is a sign of the times, in my opinion. The apostate Christianity that we see around, all around us today, um, turning away from the, the Word of God. Now, I, I won't go so far as to say I'm a King James only person at this point. I haven't really studied textual criticism to any extent. All I can say is I was brought up with a, a King James Bible and it's very faithful scripture. Very, very faithful to the original from, from what I've been told from some Greek and Hebrew scholars. All right, here we got Bible reference. Okay, so uh, if you want to study the Bible, you can, how to study the Bible. I don't know who this is by, um, but anyway, and the only way this bookstore is going to survive is by selling t-shirts and dolls and, and things like that, along with the books, graduation cards paintings, t-shirts, you get the idea. Okay, well, we're wrapping it up for now. Hope you enjoyed this. Love your feedback. Bye-bye.